The party has been separated, and I've been forced underground with a new character. Still got all the same abilities, though. Got to jump, got to shoot, got a melee attack. Though all of this is notably slower than when the main character does it. Also, of course, I have a complete inability to do any sort of stealth, but I don't think that's a big deal because most of the enemies wear big face masks. But hey, look at the bright side. Might be able to learn a little bit more about the statues around here that are moving... <laughs> Once again, I'm forced to ask, did I write this game? Because that was a bit. That was supposed to be a bit. I didn't think that it was, especially this quickly after starting the episode. Uh, okay, well. So, lore has been coming fast and furious. And now that I'm back seeing the, the statues again. And yeah, learning about colonies? Forest powering the tower? They were saying in the last episode that they've been firing off a lot of rockets into space. And it seemed to be a waste of ivory. Unless they weren't using ivory. Hmm. You know, also there's just a, a lot of other little things, like evidently the, the headquarters thinks that no living creatures can exist outside of the tower, and maybe they don't. Remember, there's some sort of true nature about the main characters that has yet to be seen. Also, you can get ivory from pretty much any sort of object. I think I'm just playing Final Fantasy again. I might just be playing Final Fantasy VII again. <laughs> Which I never have done on the channel before, but... Oh, by the way. Yeah, I didn't think so. That would be... It, it, for whatever reason, that seems like that's going to require a little bit more powerful ordinance than I have right now. Hi! Huh. That worked. Um, I'm just going to take a guess right now and say that thing's probably invincible. So I'll just, I'll just leave it to its work. Oh, boy. Music's picking up. Well... The enemies still don't have the ability to shoot upwards, unlike myself, so I guess that only works to my advantage. Oh, they can immediately turn around, though. Still, they should learn to lift their arms over their head. This is actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be, I'm going to be honest. Okay, then. Oh, oh, and also here's just randomly bullet time. I'm playing Max Payne here. I guess it's been a little while since I've done a, a Mario and Luigi style minigame. Got a couple of those at the beginning, and now maybe this is the next one they're introducing? Or... Yep, I thought so. When I saw the big shockwave coming through there. Well, looks like it's back to round two. Will I be able to do this one a little bit better? I, well, the major problem that's going to be coming about with this entire thing, with this cave story boss, is that, well, uh, if you've ever seen me try and aim with any sort of controller before, it's an embarrassment. And although this is not quite, you know, 3D aiming, it might be something of an issue still, too. <laughs> yeah, it is. There is a notable... Ah, okay. There is a notable sort of... Of a... Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. It tried to... To Sonic and Tails me before. Still attempting to do that. Okay, well, at least you get to keep the same position that you're at when shooting. Yeah, went into the middle, right? Okay. You get to keep the same position that you were at when shooting before. So, at least, if the thing's not moving, I can just kind of spam it. And otherwise, like, just keep moving. If the, gra if, if the ground's a shaken... Then you keep running away. Okay. I see. I mean, uh, the, the big, you know, glowing red and yellow circle made that fairly obvious. So I just gotta, like... I don't have a stomp here. Okay. I haven't tried to use a melee attack just yet. I mean, I was trying to see, like, if there's anything specific. Yep, okay. <laughs> there we are. Makes sense. I mean, it doesn't make sense, really, that I'm now playing whack-a-mole with this thing. It makes enough sense, I suppose. Yeah, that was weird. Suddenly made it go, like, 90-degree angle there. There we are. I gotta say, I do think that went better than last time. Still got me at least once, but honestly, I should have seen it coming when it when it went up that big hill that it created before.
But we don't need to fight everything. Up until this point, I was actually doing just fine not fighting any anything, Mina. <laughs> Uh, door has been blown open, so it looks like I'm gonna be switching back and forth kind of regularly. All right. Still heading over to the tower, right? Yeah, chasing Agent Black. I mean, this is not even like go and try and find Mina. It's chase around to see if if I can find it. Oh, come on now. And in true Iconoclast fashion, I got hung up on the very first puzzle of the episode. Why does this keep happening? Why do I keep doing this? You would never think I've beaten multiple puzzle games on this- Oh, there's an NPC over here. Uh, hi. I, I didn't go this direction before. But yeah, you never think I'd, I've beaten multiple puzzle games on this channel if you're just looking at this series. So are you the other mechanic? Because yeah, they mentioned that in the previous episode too. Although she did just say that she's a, a field researcher, so... Probably not. Wonder who that is. Hmm. No, the Yeah? Yep, that is a that is a, a a sugar muffin, a cupcake. It's a cupcake. It's even got the little cherry on top. Something that I don't think I've ever actually seen in real life, but definitely appears a lot in in, in cartoon representations of cupcakes. Okay, I went left last time. Let's see what's over here. Uh, yeah, this looks a lot more manageable. I did figure out, you know, quite a bit of, like, what I probably need to do with those puzzles that I saw previously. Stuff like this electric box and throwing that onto the the gate that I saw over on the right side of the, the destroyed town. And then also the other thing is that when using this, or not that, when using this, you, the, the charged up thing, you know, stops there for a second, and then will explode, and that's how you're supposed to get uh, some of those things to move around, some of those platforms, which I just didn't, I, I didn't really notice until I was reviewing the footage. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll just drop right down here. Oh, okay, so that's what, I, I was just missing a component of it. No wonder I wasn't able to do much of anything. And yes, this thing is yellow like this, so I'm betting... Do I need to pick it up? No? Oh, great. Well, I guess we're back to this again. Well, there's this here. It's kind of interesting. I mean, I guess it's for something that's a bonus or whatever, but... Still, neat. There, what do we got? Hey, finally, ivory oil. Go make that uh, speed up thing. Been waiting a while for that. There are an awful lot of tweaks that exist inside of the game that I just have not apparently gotten access to just yet. I've gotten the four, and I've gotten copies of those, but... Well, maybe I just gotta look around a little bit more. Once again, I don't know. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go from here. Maybe it's some mechanic that I do not understand yet, but I did get some other key items, so maybe there's something else to do. Hey, are you grumpy? Oh, yeah. Uh, actually, yes, as it turns out. Yep, you're right. But, um, still. Hey, didn't want it. Yep. I mean, I tried, but, oh, that... Am I really just going to be, like, going back and forth? Sure. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? Well, this has certainly been the most absurd of the quests that I've done so far in this game. But I'm doing it! I mean, I... I don't... I still can't solve that puzzle, so... Okay, there we go. Alright, uh... Alright, sure. That's what I'm looking for. I guess. I guess? I mean, that's cool and everything. I It's got to be kind of hard to use, and also two ivory oil isn't going to be happening anytime soon. <laughs> okay, you just have to keep this activated, which you can do by attaching it to that box. Which is apparently something you can do. I don't know. But anyway, by that being activated, it causes that to go up. 
and then I solved the puzzle. Okay, there we go. Probably also, no, still don't know how to undo that. Probably has to do with getting both of these boxes high enough to, to wrench that one bolt, but I don't know how I would do that. So I guess that's something to figure out later. Oh boy. Ah, uh, uh, well, hmm. Ah, uh, that's, what, what else is over here first? Hey, it's me. Yeah, probably, probably, um, taken a lot longer than I should have to get over here, but they didn't really introduce that mechanic that clearly. Okay, any, anyway. Oh, ah, uh, yeah, this is something I was wondering about, because as of right now, it's been a very, uh, the messenger style world, you know, left to right, sort of, sort of, uh, I don't know, um, layout. So, if I wanted to go all the way back to, to, uh, Castle Figaro, that would be... Ah. Oh. Um. Yeah, yeah. It would be quite the trek if I didn't have this. Great! Well, let's take a look at it then. Teleports. I mean, it's uh, the Metroid-style game and everything. Strange contraption. You know, more of the, the mysterious sort of statues around here and everything. And this is... Oh yeah, and that, that will show you... Well, what happens if you go into this then? Okay. So those things that have been possessed are apparently at the heart of the world. That is... I guess it's not just, that's not just what those things look like. They have a very, there's something important. Guess I'll keep that in mind. These like mechanical cells. Okay, well. I'm just give one second to load back up the area. And I guess that's gonna be useful for doing a whole bunch. I, I'm glad that I didn't end up delivering that mail. Because, oh, oh god, couldn't even imagine running all the way back to the right side of the world and then all the way back to the left again. Well, anyway, I mean, I should probably, oh, yeah, uh, I should probably end up trying to do some of the side quests, as it does seem like that's apparently how you get some of the more interesting types of, some more interesting types of, of tweaks. Or maybe just some of the new tweaks entirely. Hard to say. This just, you know, one and then the other? <laughs> I mean... Alright then. Guess I should have probably done that last one just to see what even it did. Because it might have lowered that, which is what need to happen. <laughs> Whoops. Well, I mean, I guess that's my fault for not... Yeah, uh using every one of the things available to me. Fair enough. Then yeah, 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 you can pick these things up, but how do I get it out of that very tiny area down there? I kind of had that, that, I kind of had an inkling that that's what I was supposed to do earlier, but still, also. No? <laughs> I feel like that is some prime, some prime uh, secret hiding location, but I suppose not. Okay. Solve that puzzle well. I don't know. Like, the, the box thing. I just didn't understand how the box works. The box works in... in like, the idea that, yeah, you're supposed to keep the charge with the box and everything just did not, did not even occur to me until I saw that it happened to do that. And... Okay. Well, damage boost my way through or something. Or not. Whatever. <laughs> the incredible knockback. It's like, I wonder if this is the time for, yeah, like a, the, the Castlevania style tactics where what you do is you try and face the opposite direction as you get hit so as to, so as to use the, the knockback to hit you into the location you want to be. You ever play the original Castlevania? Trust me, it's a good idea. If you know that, you know, controlling like this gigantic uh, brick man is gonna be is gonna result in you getting hit well let me tell you just I thought so um anyway 
What is up with the tiny arms? Does everything just have tiny arms here? Hey. Yeah, okay, let me just, you know. Gum up the works and all that. Ah, ah, da, jeez. All right, the broken sword. Well, that's useful. Okay. Nope, they definitely want me to... First off. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. Hey, me understanding the boss mechanics on the on the first go. Okay. Well, anyway, um, you have to hit it with the bomb, or you know, I probably can also just. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I tried. Ah! 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 Well, this one might take uh, multiple attempts in all likelihood. Let me just real quick. As it is, though, I understand what I'm doing. Oh, watch out for that, though. Okay, it has more of a... There's uh, multiple things. And yes, okay, so I can hit this... Come on, please. It looks like it might wait until you actually get onto the the rail. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna die, but that's okay. I'll get him on the next go. You know. Ah, come on. Okay, we got anything special for the last phase? Cause nope, it's looking pretty much the same. Yeah, once I actually understand what I'm doing, I had a much easier time. Let me just pay attention for the train whistle for when it, uh, when it, you know, starts blowing and you... Never mind. Still going. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, hit the sword out? I mean, there's also this whole thing here. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, yes. Uh, running myself immediately into the blades of the monster, maybe not the best idea, but maybe I just need to do it sooner. Wait too long. Yes, okay, there we go. <laughs> I mean, why else would the rail be there, of course? Uh, kind of the surprise that the sword is coming in handy here as much as it is. Okay, and then like this. Simple enough sort of thing, as long as I can dodge the, the fire raining from the sky. Which... It's not even raining from the sky. It's actually slowly going in an arc that is very, very easy to dodge. Of which, previous times this game has done that, I have had no issue dodging it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I do, in fact, need to hit the sword at one point in time. Just not when I thought I needed to. Yeah? Okay, so this is just straight up that one Metroid boss. The, uh, like, the, uh, the red dragony guy. Not Dragoon, though. <laughs> I believe its name was. That's a different uh, dragony character in that game. Now he's gonna come back up as a skeleton and oh. <laughs> All right. Okay, that's a pretty good gag. All right then. I, I guess we're not doing more uh, Mina sections. But it's too bad. I mean, I like playing as a different character there for a time. Well, yeah, I mean, okay, now, to be fair, I did spend like a half hour walking back and forth to do a pastry-based side quest. Maybe that was, maybe that is grounds to be yelling at me, and I did also seriously consider uh, using the fast travel to con continue to do more side quests, and then I, then I spent a long time, you know... Trying to solve a puzzle, which was fairly obvious. It's, um... You know. <laughs> okay, there's plenty of things to complain about. That's fine. That's fine, though. We're all back together again, it's great. Now... 
going to the tower in classic Megami Tensei style. Can I just like jump back down here? <laughs> okay, well, I did call that at least. I mean, you know, uh, just a, a random hole in the ground. That's the entire thing. It's like when they were developing, what was it? Uh, oh, I see. When they were developing what, what uh, the Symphony of the Night, the idea was, hey, let's make a platformer, but, you know, without bottomless pits. Because don't really like falling in bottomless pits and then dying immediately. So it just leads you to another area. Here, it led me to uh, improve you. So, what are we going to do? <laughs> That's, I mean, yeah, really, it's a, this big, like, electricity symbol on it, but I, I kind of thought that, you know, maybe use, like, the exploding gun first or something. Also, hey, Royal, been a little while. So, yes, I have noticed the resemblance. <laughs> oh, he's a friend. As of just yet, I still don't know if he necessarily betrayed us back in, in Castle Figaro. Okay, never mind. He de definitely has. Oh, okay, that's what that is. Yeah, I noticed that in the background previously. I was wondering if that was like Settlement 01 or something. Maybe that is what that is, but I don't know. All right, cool. These things are just all over the ground, aren't they? Anybody with a shovel can just go find all kinds of secret passages everywhere. <laughs> we just... Oh, for God's sake. Okay. <laughs> it's like, it's, I, I like that they just keep constantly going back and forth between, so is he betraying you or not? <laughs> well, I guess I'm going to have to figure out how to fight these guys now. They don't necessarily look a lot more... A lot tougher than the other dudes. But then again, this seems to be gearing up for a cutscene fight. Nice sarcastic clapping, by the way. <laughs> Bring any uh, seeds with you? Well, back in jail again. I mean, this, uh, this sort of thing happens pretty much constantly throughout this story, I'm noticing. <laughs> Getting captured in one way or another. It is, uh... It's not as much of an iconoclasm as I was expecting. Now they start with the music and everything, too. The jail music. Well, what are we doing? I mean, I see this here. Of course. They can take away my, my armaments, but they can't take away my cool jumping abilities. Yeah, you didn't know I could do that. For whatever reason, I can spin around in midair and then slam it down on the ground with force that you can't possibly imagine. Okay, I'll go get my, my stuff now. Fortunately, yeah, I don't... Speaking of which, I don't have any of my stuff. So, uh... Yeah, they have very spacious sewers. It's a surprisingly uh, questionable play on the part of the theocracy. <laughs> Anywho. Okay, you know, when I was talking about, like, stealth stuff before, I didn't think that I was actually... Oh, yeah, here you go. There's the stuff. Um, I didn't think that I was actually going to be doing stealth. Hey, look at me. I, I escaped and whatever. All right, then. Enough of this. Okay, come on. It's a very particular, sort of. Oh! Huh. 
I didn't really understand. I, di I didn't really get that that's how that was supposed to work. Hmm. Okay, well, maybe I just need to. Oh, okay. yeah, they're just, they're expecting you to use the, uh, the hip drop, as it was called back in the earlier, uh, 64 games. More than, I guess I was assuming. Okay, then. Yo, dude. His ivory runs out. You can find that in all, like, animate objects or something, right? Talked about that before. Hmm. Right, I still don't have the ability to, you know, do that. Ah, whatever. <laughs> Look, they're just gonna keep trying to do that as soon as I get near them, but I don't really take that much damage, so it's fine. Yo. Planet spines. I guess I can see how they're spines, yeah? Hmm. Yes. Okay. That's interesting. So yeah, that's not something they set up. I didn't think so. Hmm. So maybe this is just more of a natural phenomenon. I guess I'm gonna have to, oh, <laughs> I see. Yep, got that pretty, you know, of all the things for me to, you know, uh, figure out immediately, didn't really think it was going to be uh, toss the block at a guy. Is this a new and improved wrench? No, it's just the same one. Okay. Gotta remember if it had the same sort of color as before. Well. <laughs> yeah, no, okay. You're not permanently killing this man. You can try. But it won't work. What was that? <laughs> no. If only I had the ability to not completely, you know. I see. Okay, okay. We can figure that out later. Hold things in front of me. Not possible, though. Unlike the soldiers, I can only lift things above my head. The great irony. It's what makes you an iconoclast, as opposed to a, a loyal member of the theocracy. Think about it. Dexterity. That's really the only thing that separates a... a, a, a protagonist from... like, anybody else. And there's that. Now how do I get these guys out of here? Kind of thought that it would be, you know, something to do with me getting back the wrench, but it does not appear to be the case. Oh well. I mean, the once again, the party members don't really do that much, right? <laughs> Am I gonna get the ability to finally? Uh, I'm gonna get the ability to finally um, move some of these gold boxes. It hasn't happened yet. Oh yes. Also utilizing the same sort of laser technology that heretofore was unseen uh, since eyeballs. But, you know, I know how that sort of thing works. Shouldn't be a problem. You know, a lot less, it's like an ivory tower, and but then on the inside it's entirely like purple and stuff. What's up with that? Oh, what a... Secret area. That seems like it should have done more. What's up with like the chrysalis or something in the middle of the thing over there? Is that part of the religion that I haven't seen previously? Okay, well, I guess it looks, oh no. For some reason I couldn't climb down there. Strange. Not that it really mattered that I'd be going down to this place regardless. Hmm. The forbidden parts of the teachings. Now. Okay. Oh, that still hit me. I feel like it shouldn't have. 
Oh, okay, okay. I think they're like after Super Meat Boy or something. I kind of have a bit, of, a bit better of a handle on how these things work. But you'd be wrong. Dead wrong. Like me. After being exposed to these lasers. Anyway, let's get a good look at the moon back there. At least I think that might be the moon. It's a big tower. Certainly. Okay. Well. Nothing. Electricity doesn't go up. This is a well-known uh, fact of, of physics. Hmm. I guess I'm just supposed to drop down there while being electrified. Which seems like a trap. But I'm going to do it anyway. You know. For fun. Yeah? So, did that cause them to... Hmm. Strange, but it does seem like that is something that is required. So I'm gonna have to go relook at it again. Oh, okay, yeah. If I just take the elevator back down to this part, I guess the door actually opens up. So uh, that's what I'm doing. Yep, I have done that before. <laughs> Please, do I have to make myself look like a fool immediately after saying that? Seems, you know. A bit excessive. Hmm. Doubt or harmful activity. Are they telling me that this uh, religion was manufactured? That wasn't just, you know. Hmm. Yeah, what do, did you do for work? Never really questioned that. An organic mechanic. Like organic chemistry. That's not that's nothing. I tried. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Seems like things are very much a need to know basis. Yep. And that brings us to where we are now. You know, we could. I, I wonder if I could have just stayed back in the cell and like listened to this entire thing, because <laughs> it's it's weird to think that. Yeah, you know, I'm doing the like uh, stealth sneaking around again, to listen in on conversations with people who would probably just have them with me. Now the question is, where do I use this key? I thought I saw it somewhere around here. Oh. I guess I didn't actually go into this area before. All right, Katana Zero, what's the deal with you? Why are you even attacking me? I mean, I got that. Can I just steal your uh, your thing? I don't even know who this guy is. Oh yeah, I guess I don't have anything except for my uh, wrench at this point in time. I don't know, I was wondering if I should even be fighting him, because he seems very... Really. Seems very strange. Okay, the timing is kind of weird. Oh, come on now. Okay, this is definitely one of those fights where being proactive is not really important. It's more about being reactive. Okay, okay, enough of this. <laughs> anyway. And that was nothing. There was no, like, reward or anything for that. And I still have a key that I had do not know how to use. Somewhere around here. Yeah, like you. Here we are. Well, here we are, if I can... First off, did I look at this? Hmm. 
Well, what do you guys got to say in terms of lore? Is this how I'm getting in this cha chapter? He does not seem to be doing much of anything, I'll be honest. In fact, I haven't even seen him for quite some time. Said that he was, uh, what, going on, had some sort of revelation or something previously, and then just left. Huh. Well, still. Gotta find my... Certainly! Yeah? <laughs> oh! Kinda thought that I was, there was gonna be something uh, secret down here, or something. <laughs> Not just more lore to be had. I'm guessing the Transcendence probably has something more to do with, oh, let's say, the rockets that they've been shooting off. Seems like a, like a thing that might end up happening. Okay. And then I, I like how this is just designed to be a one-way gate in that way. Okay, well. What's the key use now? Oh yeah, there's that guy. It was the one before. And I guess, yeah, to, to did some time for more lore. I was trying to see if I could just walk over there, but didn't quite happen. What is this man's... Is Did he, did he like, make a gigantic teeth collar? And he's still wearing a... He's still wearing, like, a, 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 a tie, like a suit and tie. Like, not even paying attention. I'm just, just so enraptured by Mr. Darwin's <laughs> okay yeah sure uh, outfit yes think I can guess who that is Oh, so he's like the, the Transcendence when they're going to send Royal up to become the medium or whatever it is. Oh, and there's uh, one of those guns, too. Still not quite sure what that means, but I like this new character. I enjoy the sort of energy he brings to the game right now, which is a really weird one. All right. I I don't, I can't, like, we've seen some eccentric characters, but the teeth uh, outfit is probably the most. Oh, okay. Oh, suck boys. Got it. This tower is very large. I still find it kind of weird that I haven't gotten my uh, party members back yet. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, how, what, what to do? What to do? No, I mean, I don't see any way that I can get those charged up. Need to get those probably to move that over there. Am I going to get some sort of upgrade that will allow me to... I don't know. Yeah, also probably not going to be working. Uh... Do longer range electricity stuff. Oh, well, I, mean, I, was just, you know, I didn't. <laughs> no, I did not consider that until that very moment. You got me. What can I say? I, it, for some reason, the fact that it wasn't a complete wall just did not even factor into my mind uh, even a little bit. Okay, well. It's so weird how the there's such a very particular way that you need to do platforming in this game, and it has to be like that, and anything else will not work. 
There we are. And still hit things through walls. We got wall clip clipping. That remains a... Uh, I think this is a new area, actually. <laughs> yeah, no, I haven't been in here before. All right, so I guess there was actually a, a point to going up there, as it turns out. I thought that I just had to re-go through the entire area because I missed the, the thing. You didn't see me. Okay. Does not hit me, though. Yeah, these uh, guards are not very effective, I'm going to be honest with you. The fact that they take so long to actually, you know, even try and shoot me. Oh, I was wondering if he's going to climb up here. That if they, they're getting that sort of ability just yet. Hey, y'all. Um, well. Oh. Okay. Okay. On the day of transcendence. No, no, it's cool. Flag and stuff, da, da, da. Breath of Black. Okay, so yeah, they are just taught that everything. It is not a twist. They are just taught taught that everything is totally and completely um, apocalyptic outside. All right. I was wondering about that because it seemed didn't seem likely that. Playing as robots? <laughs> or not just me. I've seen some very strange interpretations of robots in my time playing video games, certainly. <laughs> You're like a near automata. It's like, oh, we don't need to eat or bathe, but we can. <laughs> you know, because it's fun. I hope I didn't need to do. Oh, here we are. Oh, the seeds of all things. And my god. Well. What am I going to do with the seeds, though, is the question. Okay, maybe do it like that. <laughs> there we go. That's what we call pro-level video gaming. Now what? Ah, here we go. Fourth floor. Can use it. Can use the new gun that I got to get this out of the way. I was trying to figure out where exactly have I seen places that I can use a gun, and it was just not. Couldn't figure it out. <laughs> anyway, yes, yes, yes. Now I figured out. Use at a distance, and that extra little bit of of pushing power, for whatever reason, makes it so that you can just shoot directly at those things, and it'll work. Strange how that goes, but I guess that is how it was designed. Okay, now with this out of the way, what's up at the top? I mean, I can see multiple more keys that I can do, but I don't really think that's quite what I'm looking for. Let's see. Okay, oh, okay, no, it just sends me back up here. Well, even farther then. Yes, on floor six, it's this guy again. Oh? Oh? Yes, I also have a gun now. Check it out. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to work. Okay. Okay, so when he dashes behind, you just turn around. That's the... Don't even try walking into him. I get the basics of this, but, like, I don't know why I'm not able to do it super good. Hmm. I see. No, I didn't even, like, consider that. What? <laughs> okay, I get how this boss works, and just, like, for some reason not doing it right. It's like, yeah, you can't get more than one hit in, unfortunately, but still, everything else, everything else is pretty basic. Okay, I'm glad he actually didn't uh, turn around there, because I think that dude definitely can. There. Bam, you know, do this like no damage or something at this point in time, right? Show the actual mastery of how 
know how the stupid boss works. Definitely one of those bosses where having the extra damage on the wrench would come in handy. After all, I can't do multiple hits or anything. Oh. There we are. See? I got it. I got it. I just I just wasn't executing it well enough. There we go, finally. Still have no idea who that guy is or what he's trying to do. Doesn't seem to be part of the whole concern, but then again, you've seen the the sort of characters that the concern employs normally. It's really impossible to say if that's actually true or not. I keep looking at this guy. He's doing like a, a, a triangle figure in front of his face. It's I thought he had like weird eyes or something. No. Okay, that took much longer than it probably should have, but I, I did it. I got the keys. Oh, man. Also, yeah, there's like this guy that uh, wears a big manhole cover on his head. I don't know what's up with that. At least not yet. Oh, yeah, also everybody's preparing for the apocalypse. Maybe that's like uh, like something that we, we should do. I'll just save some, but whatever. <laughs> the, the 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 sort of answers here are, are pretty simple. I, look, not possible. I'm a video game protagonist. It has to be like shining or something for me to understand. Okay, well I do know a place I can use a key right now. There's actually still several keys left in the tower and everything, but maybe that means I'm going to be making a return trip at some point in time. Whatever, damage boost my way right through, you know? Right over here was this door, yeah. Which I already, which also had like a thing that required a gun there, but I um opened, but I still opened that part up when I was trying to figure out what to do. That's me. Oh. 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 There we go. Galvanize. Don't hold back. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. I thought that... I thought that that was uh, going to be an upgrade that I got here soon. Something to do with, you know, use the... At least they do let you get to keep the this whole thing. Um, but yeah. That there was going to be a you electrify gun sort of thing because that was that seemed like that was the obvious next. What is going on up there? Um, upgrade to be getting. Well, this was a fairly large open room previously, and I think I understand why now. Nah, nothing. Okay, if you say so. Well, anyway, with that, there's a bunch more puzzles to be solved. But I think I'm going to save that one for next time.